Francisco. This is stop number one of the day and we still have like 15 hours to go. I'm gonna catch my second flight now. I have like an hour to figure out food because the next leg of the flight is 14 hours. It's so funny, the vibe and the difference between the international terminals and the domestic terminals is crazy. Like, <laughs> the first thing I see is this Hermes store. Made it. In Shanghai, there's hot water and warm. There's no cold. If you remember this kitchen, the green kitchen, you're a real one and you've been here for a while. Things actually look very different to me. I haven't been home in about four years. If you guys are new here, my family is not from Shanghai, but my parents moved here. So I lived here for about seven years of my life. This is my first time back in about four years and things feel very different. I wasn't able to visit physically because of COVID for the longest time. And a lot has changed inside the house. I'm sure outside. I haven't even been outside yet. Landed yesterday, 6 p.m. Woke up around four this morning. Just took some vitamin shots with my mom. And now I'm gonna make some matcha lattes for Chloe and I. This is actually the first time I've been with my two sisters at the same time for a really long time. Like it's not often that my entire immediate family gets to be together, so very special. And it's Christmas day this morning. Look at this special Asian fruit. Fruits. These are A-grade grapes, some beautiful strawberries, pineapple and pomelo, and some beautiful citrus. And then this soy milk got me through my years here. I love this soy milk so much. <laughs> oh, and we have an avocado. That comes with an avocado. Nice. Oh, how cute. Look at that. It's serrated here. It's got a pitter here. Welcome to the Carrie Hotel. We're at the Carry Center, which is like a little shopping mall. So many things are closed. Like this used to be a restaurant that I go to all the time. I feel old. <laughs> Here it is, fruit mochi. What are we getting? Mango. Mango. She said she said chico. 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 And the other thing. That one's got. Oh, it's too much. This is the grape mochi. Mm. Oh. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. And Avery's got the key golden kiwi. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's kind of an odd combo. Mm. Mm. Cool cross section. That's juicy. Mango mochi. You know the thing where it's like when you're in like like blue lighting. Mm -hmm. On the other side. When you're in like lighting, like, then you're like. Mm. <laughs> restaurant to me. The style of the food is different which is really nice because a lot of the vegan spots here are just kind of Chinese food uh, which are delicious but it's nice to have mm. options I think. So this one was more like Sichuan inspired. Right. What did you think Avery? Oh I liked the pasta. Oh yeah we were lucky to find something for you. Sichuan thing. <laughs> and also it's really hard for vegans or uh, it's really hard for Avery at vegan restaurants sometimes because of the no nuts yeah. and a lot of vegan dairy is made with nuts so that's tricky for her sometimes. Yeah. But really love the pesto pasta. Actually, I think your pasta was my favorite dish also. It was really good. The lasagna was good. Red curry tempeh was good. Nothing special, but good. Um, just tasted like red curry. Yeah, it's a really nice spot. I think it's closing next week or the end of this week. So hopefully by the time you see this vlog, if you're visiting Shanghai, they find a new location. The, the, the people there were really nice. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty inside. Yeah. So we're walking right now to a cafe. Shanghai, parts of Shanghai are pretty walkable, actually. It's more than LA. Anything is more than LA. Oh, God, yeah. These are like birds, but bicycles. Yeah. And I guess they're picking them up right now. Like. Gussie. We are right now in Pushi, which is kind of like, so there's a river in the middle of Shanghai that divides it. One side is Hudong, which is where we live, and the other side is Pushi. And it's kind of like New Jersey and New York, because it's more of like the suburb versus like the city. So right now we're in the city. Um, it's a lot closer though, I think, than New York and New Jersey. Well, the sun came out. Oh, 
more. Yes, we made it. It's cold here. I had to buy a jacket because it's so cold outside, but we are at our family's favorite vegetarian, very vegan friendly spot, and they serve um, like traditional Chinese dishes, so this is like a must. Even my friends who aren't vegan love this place. It's omnivore approved. It's a must. Yeah, so the menu's pretty big. We almost always get this noodle with um, carrot, mushroom, and tofu. Let's get the so. vegetarian chicken or the duck. I think it's called duck, but yeah, it was duck. This is the one we get, the vegetarian duck, really good. This is the vegetarian duck. You gotta check out these layers. Ooh, this is our favorite. The wonton soup, I actually really like these dumplings too. Some pressed tofu, that bamboo shoe. Ooh. Over there we have a mapo tofu. Pea shoots and noodles. Yeah. I need that. Hey. Good morning. Good. I passed out last night. I underestimated, or I just forgot how cold it can get in Shanghai. But we're going for a family walk. <clears throat> As you can see, we're all wearing our puffers. I sound a little sick, but it's just like from I think pollution. It's just the fresh pollution. Yeah, just the pollution in the air. Sick. I kind of feel like I have like allergies or something and it doesn't help that I'm jet lagged and tired so we're gonna wear masks on our walk just because it's kind of like a, a thick day on the pollution scale. <coughs> <coughs> um, this is not a filter but like you can see it's kind of soft and hazy. It's really hard to see past kind of like a few close buildings like seeing in the distance is hard with the smog. Um, it's just yeah just Shanghai thing. So my mom has a pollution meter because she's particularly sensitive. It's an app. Oh, it's an app. You made it sound like a, yeah. a device. That's Washington DC for comparison in the US and we were in the red. 167, 170. All this says. is a good day for us. So my impression of Shanghai after four years is like so many things are closed completely. And I guess it's kind of common for businesses here to like open and close quite quickly. But yeah, it's so different. This is a... Uh, grocery store where we used to get you know I don't know random groceries it's gone it's closed it's such a big building I think they're renovating though right mom we're building a mall and apartments and office buildings. yeah here's an advertisement for my high school <laughs> didn't know they made ads but Weird. here it is hey this is new this is never here before <laughs> let me, let me go. <laughs> um, okay. we're gonna get some red date soy milk it's like a drier, red skin color date, like you know the types that you guys see in the U.S. all the time. But the soy milk in China and most Asian countries is so much better. It's like freshly made. You can actually taste soybean. It doesn't taste like nothing. Um, it's usually single ingredient, so it's just hot, slightly sweet red date soy milk. Hong Zhao, Doujiang. Hmm. When I lived here, I never really appreciated the soy milk. We never really. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to my mom's friend's spa for a little bit of like traditional Chinese medicine or kind of Chinese medicine inspired treatments today. Um, a lot of you guys are asking about Asian wellness. Um, it's basically a combination of massage and moxibust. Moxibustion. Moxibustion. So they're using mugwort herbs and the massages to target or to find where the issues are and to open them up and then treat them with the herbs. It's not a massage like you would think of in the US where it's like relaxing. It's like, it's uh, it's healing. Yeah, so sometimes it can be quite painful, but you feel better after, so. <laughs> this is what we're doing today. You are, yes. As you can tell, this might be a painful experience, but it's true therapeutic medicinal, you know? So it's not always the most relaxing, but here we go. Oh, how she said. We're having mugwort tea first. That's 16. Did they try to kill you? Just did the oil massage. That's pretty
Yeah. Today is December 27th. We are at Dancing Dumpling. <laughs> it's an all vegan restaurant. It's really cute. And the interior is very um, minimal, like modern and pretty. Um, one thing about ordering or doing like anything in China is like everything is on an app and through WeChat and stuff. So ordering a menu or ordering in a restaurant is like always QR code. Paying, getting a taxi, literally everything. So we're looking at the menu. It says Chen Jiao This is like special lucky dumplings. Oh, they have shell But like fake meat or no? yeah. Tong Yo Bing. This is um, Italian picking. Here's everything we ordered for about thirty dollars US. This is the mini wonton soup. That's good. Mm -hmm. There's this thing that came with my thing. I like that. We got okra. What is this called? Um, Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken and shallow ball. We got sticky rice dumplings. There's the inside. One of my favorites from when I was a kid. Oh, and so good. Mmm. Veggie shell. Mmm. Kind of like a mushroom filling. Mmm. Did it taste good? It's fine. That's the way I'm eating it. I'm eating some cooking spices and sauce in it. Woke up today. I am not feeling good. I thought it was like some allergy thing or just a pollution now. I'm starting to wonder if I'm a little sick. And I honestly just got ready today because I thought that doing my makeup and stuff would kind of make me feel better. Sometimes it works to just kind of get you out of bed, like put on real clothes. But to be honest, I'm wearing leggings and keeping it comfy today. And I don't really want to leave the house. <sighs> just not feeling great. I also had to wake up at 3 a.m. Shanghai time to take a tax call and then pay some taxes, which is never a fun time. So it's just one of those days. But I have about two days left here today's thursday i leave on saturday so i'm starting to get a little sad i feel like there's never enough time when it comes to family uh, i always wish i had more but i'm so grateful that i could be here and there's a lot of things here that i realized i didn't even know i missed just even being in my high school room that i lived in for two years it's kind of like it's instant nostalgia in a lot of ways i feel like getting older is so interesting because being home can bring up a lot of feelings for a lot of people i know it's not the happiest place for everyone but i'm really grateful that my relationship with my family has always been really amazing and for that i couldn't be more grateful um but you know just kind of end of year holiday time can bring up a lot for people i know i shared this in my thanksgiving vlog but i actually found this quote on instagram that i feel like really sums up how i feel about december it goes december holds so much the end of the best times or what is needed to come to an end december has hints of hope for what is to come it has closure for all that was lost december is a heavy and hopeful month there's a lot to be hopeful for there's a lot to kind of come to terms with maybe as we close out the year on top of that i think i might be getting my period soon too so i'm just like a mess of emotions right now and just not feeling it so we're gonna keep it light today i did want to do a little taste test for you guys though because yesterday at family mart i found three vegan drinks i found an oatly i think it's like a probiotic yogurt drink but it's vegan and then i bought ovaltine which is like a very classic kind of like a chocolate milk basically like a powdered drink mix um they have an oat version and i bought that too so we're gonna do a little taste test and see how it is because i'd never seen these things before and this is just in like the regular convenience store here in shanghai which i think is awesome this oatly product first i thought it was strawberry milk but then i saw the fruit logo and it's like guava um but if you see the color it's like kind of clear milky but clear so it's not oat milk so i kind of feel like it's a I don't know what it is. I feel like it's supposed to be like yakut, like a yogurt drink. I don't know why I was scared to try this. Like I thought I wouldn't like this, but I think Chloe was right. This is basically like a yakut. And the only thing I'll say about this one is that you don't really taste the guava, but it's so good. It really tastes like a yogurt drink. Oh my God, so good. Mm. I'm just really sad that we don't have this in the US as far as I know. I think it's really fun to see like what other countries have because for example, we definitely don't have this in the U.S. So good, please, please only bring us to the U.S. Good morning. We're going to a spin class.
found over the end I found my way back in the end Baby, I'm falling for you and the way you make me feel We're at this spot called La Matcha. This is the first, I think, pretty good matcha that I've had in LA. I have to try Manor Coffee also. You said LA. Oh my gosh, in Shanghai, I mean. <gasps> my brain. This is my little oat milk latte. It's not bad. I'm just happy to have matcha right now. I, I haven't had matcha in a week. I feel it. I need to buy it everywhere. Have <laughs> <laughs> you been to Magic Simulator and Magic Simulator? Oh, hey, no. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> I played, oh, I played, what else, what else? I played 800. We might die. We might die. Oh my god, run away. Wait, how would you die? Because oh the zombies are touching us. They, they kill us if we... First bubble tea of the trip. Tell us your order. Um, bubble tea. You get the nai cha. Yeah, milk tea with... 50% sweetness. 50% sweetness, less ice, and tar balls. I usually get just plain iced tea and then no milk just like an iced tea with the bubbles added because it's easier. I don't feel like most places here don't really have dairy-free milks. Um, so it's just easier to get it like no milk at all. There's Chloe's. And here's mine. Black tea, taro balls, and purple rice. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 